If you're new to owning an electric vehicle, or you're thinking about making the leap to an electric vehicle, you very quickly get hit with a bunch of terms that may be completely new to you. Like, what is KWH or WH per MI? What do you mean by range? And why do people talk about efficiency so much? For a lot of it, it feels almost like a completely different language. The learning curve for EVs or electric vehicles seems so high and for so many electric cars are just intimidating. So in this video, my plan is to put meaning to all of these things and show you that once you have an understanding of just a few things, you will find electric vehicles just aren't that intimidating. I'm Jim, the Iowa Tesla guy. And let's get started breaking down electric vehicles and removing what I call the kill of what? So where do we begin making sense of it all? Well, let's start with something that most of us have known for a very long time, and that's a gas car. We all understand the term miles per gallon. We have been programmed for a long time to understand what this means. When our miles per gallon go up, we know that that's a good thing. The higher your MPG, the more efficient your car is when using the gas. When we talk about how far you can drive your gas car, you have to do a little math. In this example, if a car has a 10 gallon gas tank and gets 10 miles per gallon, then your range is 10 times 10, which is 100 miles of range. On a Tesla, we don't have MPG. We don't have gallons of gas. However, we do have this thing, which is WH slash MI. Well, WH means watt hour, but what's a watt hour? Every electrical thing draws power. It is often referred to in watts. For example, an old 100 watt light bulb would draw 100 watts. In more modern terms, a 50 inch LED TV draws about the same amount of 100 watts of power. Now a watt hour is the amount of energy used over a one hour period of time. And this is how you pay for power for everything that you run in your house. So with the 50 inch LED TV, it would draw 100 watt hours in one hour of operation. You all may also hear the term kilowatts. Now a kilowatt is simply 1000 watts and one kilowatt hour is equal to 1000 watt hours. Now the easiest way to think about this is that kilowatts are roughly the same as gallons of gas. Both are volumes of energy. To put this in real world terms, a Toyota RAV4 has a 14 and a half gallon gas tank. My Tesla Model Y long range has a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack. So when you ask someone how big of a tank you have in a gas car, you would say 14.5 gallons. And in an EV, you would say 75 kilowatt hours. They are roughly equivalent to each other in a way of thinking about how much energy your car has. On your Tesla, you see a reading called WH slash MI, and this stands for watt hours per mile. Basically, this says, how much power do you use to go one mile? And we know that the higher the MPG, the better off you are. However, in a Tesla, the lower the watt hours per mile, the better you are. Now, why is that? It's because MPG and watt hours per mile are upside down from each other or inverse. But in a Tesla, we see watt hours per mile, but let's for a minute think about miles per watt hour. For my Model Y, Tesla rates my car at 326 miles of range. We also know that I have a 75 kilowatt hour battery. So if you divide range by battery size, you get 4.35 miles per kilowatt hour. So in this case, the higher your miles per kilowatt hour, the better. Now this matches what you are used to seeing with MPG. However, your Tesla shows watt hours per mile. 
which is the inverse of miles per watt hour. So we need to live with the idea that the lower the watt hour per mile, the better, or the more efficient you are. This leads us to another term that is used a lot in the EV world, which is, what is your efficiency? What the question really is asking is, how close are you to your rated range when you're driving? It's like asking someone with a gas car if they're getting the rated MPG when they're driving. It's really all the same thing. All these questions are basically asking the same thing, which is, how is your range? What kind of gas mileage did you get? In an EV, they're basically the same. So hopefully you now have a better understanding of kilowatt hours, watt hours per mile, efficiency, and range. If you have any interest in electric vehicles, but just wasn't sure if it's right for you, hopefully this video lowered that barrier for you in making the move to an EV. If you decide to take the plunge and buy a Tesla, don't miss out on a thousand free supercharger miles uh, by using a referral code, any code. Uh, and if you want to use mine, that would be fantastic. And I'll provide a link to my referral code in the description below. Finally, if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, please click that subscribe button and hit that like button so we can get this video out in front of as many people as possible. 90% of my viewers are not subscribers and subscribers help drive the channel forward. So please hit that subscribe button if you can. It's absolutely free. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Until then, safe driving. Thank you.